think that will happen? Um, in, in terms of, uh, with, with, you know, like I said, all those those things off the table now, are you going to try some different things, personnel? I mean, anything moving forward to next year, anything like that going to be, uh, you know, on the table here in the next couple of games? On the table is going to be beating South Dakota, okay. period, end of statement. If we do anything besides focus on that, again, I think we're disrespecting the guys that play the game, and that's not going to happen. Our focus is going to be play the University of South Dakota, play to win, get our fifth in a row at home, and then we'll think about game six, and we'll think about next year whenever we get to next year, sometime like November 22nd. Uh, in, in special teams, again, I mean, a couple of missed field goals. I know one was blocked. I mean, it just seems to always be an issue, at least for the last couple of years here. I mean, talk about the special team kicking game and, you know, the frustrations with that again. Well, it's frustrating to get down there. Number one, the, the missed one, it sure never got down to a miss. And that was a total uh, – we didn't play well in all three plays that we played when we got first and goal on the two-and-a-half-yard line. And I think that that's a particular point in time we must convert. You can't take anything for granted, and you got to get at least the three points at that particular point in time. So that was disappointing. The block was as well, but, uh, you know, that happens. You, know, you can't have technique flaws against good football teams. And, uh, if, you know, if you're going to get beat, you want to get beat doing it the right way. And, unfortunately, we had a couple of technique flaws that caused that ball to be blocked. And uh, give them the credit for doing what they were asked to do. And we didn't do it exactly the way we would draw it up on the board. And the end result is not a good thing. You know, as, as, as we've talked about here, the struggles in the second half on the road, the, the first halves have been kind of the opposite. It seems like you've controlled the action but just haven't been able to put points on the board. Uh, you put points on the board but not as much as you'd like. I mean, what, what's causing the team to kind of sputter out? you know, particularly in the red zone, um, and, 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 you know, have leads but not large leads at the, at the half? Well, you know, I mean, I think it's been different every week. I mean, I, I would say definitely this past week was execution. Like I said, from um, when we got the ball and first and goal on the two-and-a-half-yard line, we didn't execute very well on any of the three plays we were called. And then we went for it on fourth and one, and we had a illegal procedure penalty on the on the quarterback and ended up having to try to kick a field goal against San Jose State. We had a ball that was a catchable ball that was dropped that would have been a touchdown to make it 16 to nothing. I mean, make it a completely different game against uh, Montana. We had opportunities to score way more points than we did based on the field position our defense gave us in the first half and only had a 17 uh, 17 points on the board. And I think those things are frustrating because we didn't take advantage of some of the opportunities that were presented to us in those games. And I think our coaches and our players have worked hard on them. But uh, I think one of the things, like I said before, I said this year on offense, I think we're an offense that has to be precise. And uh, at certain points in time, we're not precise. And when you're not precise, you're not going to execute at the level you want to execute at. One last question, again, getting back to, uh, back to South Dakota. Just talk about them. What you know? What, what, I know they're the same record as you guys. What uh, what kind of challenges will they present you on Saturday? They're a lot like us. I mean, they've lost three very close games. They lost an overtime to Davis, overtime to Montana State, lost to North Carolina, North, uh, Northern Colorado from the Big Sky in the last minute, and they could easily be seven and two of themselves right now. Easily, they're averaging thirty points a game and about four hundred thirty yards a game. Uh, very athletic with a four-year starter at quarterback, and uh, our defense will have their hands full. So our offense is going to have to find a way to keep up. And uh, again, I think when you run the triple option as the base of your offense, I think the more teams play against you, the better they play it. And I think we found that out for sure this year. And we got to find some solutions. And again, it's going to get down to our execution on offense and our ability uh, to get off the field on defense and get off the field without them scoring points. Dave asked most of my questions. So I guess really, I mean, what's the, the pulse of the team you get right now? I mean, you know, are they more fired up than ever just after, after dropping these two and, you know, final home game? Or is it just same old, we got a game this Saturday, let's, let's focus? Oh, I think, I think right now, I'm sure on Monday, I'm sure we're deflated. I think we were deflated yesterday when we met as a football team. I, it, the air gets taken out of you after you know, a couple of tough losses in a row on the road where you look back on things and the, the, the common words come back, which are, you know, what it could have should have. Those are bad words to have to say after any event that, you're, that you take part in. And I think that, uh, you know, we're not feeling real good about things right now, but we'll get back out on Tuesday. The one thing that is more and more obvious than it's ever been in my 32 yard, years of coaching, young people are a lot more resilient than they used to be. And uh, part of that, I think, starts with the, how the, the leadership and the team handles things and things like that. And I think these guys will see it as another opportunity to play the game that they chose to play uh, at a place they chose to play it and love in Cal Poly. And I think they'll represent our program and our football team the way we want to be represented on Saturday night.